I'll just run a couple games with it and let's see what's going on. Songhai versus Vitruvian. Alright, Vitruvian's not so bad unless they're running a lot of the um let's keep this. Unless they're running a lot of their uh five five provoke heal cards. Mm. I can go aggressive turn two if I move forward with this. I mean as long as I don't get like bone swarmed or something. Okay, that's not too bad. If he plays an Oblast, I don't have an answer, but I'm going to be kiting anyway, so I shouldn't worry too much about that. Drawing to a lot of spells. Mm. I mean, the heart sequel will do work. And if he does summon a, um, a pyromancer, I can deal with that too. He's gonna get a pretty big minion on me. Starfire Spare? Nah, just a pyromancer. Okay, I can deal with that. Not unless he gets into attacking range, and that should be okay. Oh, that's a shame. Well, if we if we replace him with something useful, I think it's still uh, it's still game. Or if he moves anywhere closer to us, it'll be a it's still be a Diagonal. Okay, let's try this. Turn. 
and so on's good to me. Bring them down to one, I mean down to four. I don't see the point of that. Alright, we'll beat this out. Okay, and that's the next thing. Okay. I mean, the only reason I set it up like this is because he can't get a, um, he can't remove my artifact and hit me with a blast. It just reduces the chance of him, like, somehow rumble finding me. I mean, Star's Fury will also do it with Third Wish. But that's pretty unlikely. I mean, he's moving pretty far away. Two. Two. If he doesn't move his own... Okay, he, he moved it. And probably... Oh, it's kind of scary, actually. Okay. But he didn't clear my... Albus has an attack range if he summons here and one of these spots. I think... Do I have any more direct damage? No. Mm. That Pyromancer is still going to hit me. Might as well start clearing. Very close. I can silhouette tracer. I can silhouette tracer in front of him, but that's not going to do anything. That one four provoke actually does help a lot more than I thought. Drop the slow tracer that he's not being aggressive. I can also slow the tracer down. Hmm. I don't think it's worth it. I should have kept that silhouette tracer. I might get inky from this, so I'm going to keep it. Do you have any cards that can kill his own um, Amara? Hmm. 
glad he's coming back instead. Oh, another provoke. I mean, that's fine, because I'm, I'm look, just looking to win with direct damage now. I probably have to drop my Ancestral. Mm. Oh, okay, that's our win. Let's see what we get from the clips, anyways. Mm, nothing much. That's okay. Yeah, we got eight gates, but we didn't need it at that point. So, I mean, we could have won without a uh, top decking our uh, blood mask. I'm very surprised that Vitruvian was running 1-4 um, taunts. Okay, I'll hmm. We can keep this, it's a lot better than other options. We can play our entire hand. Um, it'll push forward a threat with both the Warlock. Oh, he didn't summon anything. Okay. okay. Yeah, typically around this, um, these ranks, I think the Lion Arch drop a lot of their true strikes. Could be eating my words, but yeah. Hmm, Tempest very well. Wow. Walker right now. We'll, uh, we need a minion so we'll drop. Ooh, that's not too good. Make sure we can grab our mana next turn. Oh, there we go. Even better, a silhouette tracer. Puts me to seven mana next turn, so I can't play anything. But the saber spine, the saber spine seal doesn't work. Is that a provoke? No. So I just have to go. Okay, I gotta look for a heavenly corpse now. Oh, there we go. And if we grab an inner focus, I think we could finish it with a uh, Chakri. I'm just moving my wings of Mechazor over here so we can lure out his uh, emerald burger. I think it's 
not a loss unless we uh, finish the game this time. Well, I think it's um. Okay. Oh, extra two health might have mattered. Okay, and we get. What are the chances of, us, of this drawing something we can use? Not much. Hmm. I mean, basically at this point we need inner fire. And with this we get two chances if we drop the mist dragon seal. That brings up another concern. I'm only running one copy of uh, Inner Fire. Inner Focus. It shouldn't be that bad though. I'm running two Heavens Eclipse. After this game, I'll probably take a look over the deck list again. Banner versus Songhai. Oh. Banner. Don't see much of those. Recently, anyways. Uh, okay. Oh, but oh, nice opening hand. I mean, we'll play it backwards, but we're gonna generate card advantage. Not even advantage, just draw. Okay, crystal cloaker. It's fine with me. You can replace this now. Oh, that's well. Okay, we'll keep the silhouette for now. Two up, and um, our mana forger will die. But we can mist walker over. I'm sorry, we can slow the tracer over to this mana crystal next turn. So let's drop this. And, this up here. and we can actually save our. Uh, can actually save our mana forger. enough for a silhouette and mist walking so we'll have to drop on I don't think we need either master right now maybe we can draw into mana vortex no just more burn we can pick up the mana crystal unless she goes for it. Oh 
issue with that. If that delays that coming to us one more turn, I am fine. Okay, let's go. I don't think I need this in the focus. Mana forgers. Two, one, one, three, not enough. Oh, now it would if I drop this. can play everything. I will take a lot of damage next turn. And if she positions right, she can take care of my Blood Rage Mask, so... Yeah, it's more issue to me, I think. Am I actually clear the house one? Keeping the blood rage alive is uh, much better. Okay, there's my heaven's eclipse. And I think the mana forger is enough of a threat that uh, you'll want to clear it. see walls here. Nope, oh, artifact hunter. Hmm. I mean, it's likely only the plus three or... Hmm. There is a stun a minion one, but that gives plus two attack and that'll kill anything in my deck anyways. Okay, and survey says you burn, lots of it. And we got our mist walking. We don't have any minions. Now we have a minion. Okay. Health, I think so. I think this is what we're doing. Okay, <laughs> do your worst. This Aether Master will probably let me, uh. No, can't do that actually. If he kills the fox, then we know he doesn't have lethal. Like, instantly. Otherwise, it's. Uh, all right. That's okay. I mean, okay, we have two lines of plays after this. We can either. He might kill the one, one actually. Okay. We can either. Blood Rage and hope for another... No. This is tough. We can't deal one damage. Will either Master save me? 
Let's drop this. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Oh crap. Should have put this on first. I threw hard. God damn. I did not consider the silver stone. If I did, I should have moved. Um, I should have placed either math master in the corner. Yeah, I was I was tunnel visually on the spells I could have gotten with blood rage mask, so I didn't get into range. Honestly, I should have anyways. I yeah, regardless of. I think regardless of what I could have potentially drew, I should have moved up one. And I should have stayed uh, close. Because I could have gotten a mist walking, jump through a minion too. He's burning his spells early, and that's okay. Settle for next time. I kill, it hits one of my artifact pieces, but that's okay. The worst you can do here is Tempest, and that's not even an issue. Yeah, it was just inefficient ordering. But again, it's only a third of my artifact. Hmm. He's gonna try to summon up near me? Yeah, that's likely. I can, um. Oh, that's not even that bad. But he might have a too. No, dispels the mana for me. That's okay, because I have enough spell for all my spells. And that actually lets me just trade this away uh, freely. Okay, we'll do this. Drop this on his face. Teleport this here. I could have gotten the mana crystal. Attack. Alright, hopefully I'll get a. Um, hopefully he doesn't draw into some drops, first of all. Yep, it's a lot tracer. That's what I needed. Okay. Best case scenario, he drops a provoke on my face and moves towards me. Yep. Okay, is he moving away or forward? Okay. Question is where do I sell it? I can sell it here, move two spaces. I think that's the best play. And then I can still drop a Phoenix Fire on his face. Okay. 
Let me see most of the vessels first. Is it lethal? 4, 2, no it's not. Actually doesn't have enough damage for the slower tracer. Um, Tempest will kill him. Hmm. Yeah, he has to focus it. And I think with solar tracer, I yeah, I have lethal. Wait, with the artifact, so he has to break the artifact or heal. And solar tracer here is just flat out good. Because I'll get two spells, the Silhouette Tracer deals three, I deal two. Okay, provoke. Is that still lethal? Yes, it's still lethal. Okay, not lethal anymore. Alright, so I'll move myself. Hold on. Let me reconsider this carefully. Um, no, because the only spot I can attack him is right here, and that actually doesn't work. Okay. I'm slightly out of provoke range if I do this. Lost. Drop him here. It's a small kink in his defense. He should have summoned the the windblade of death over here. Because then he would have fully he would have been fully provoked on both sides. Okay, I can start. I can start uh, drawing into heaven's eclipse here. So I'll just drop the Ancestral Divination of the Master and I'll just keep trying to... I mean, if I draw into a Phoenix Fire, I don't know if I use both. You know, honestly, this doesn't scroll down all the way. It's okay. Yeah, if I used... If I haven't used both, I can probably burst them out. If not, I can just keep drawing into a Heaven's Eclipse. I didn't attack with my Silhouette Tracer that turn. Has, uh, more things to deal with. Okay. So both my silhouette traces are out. I still have my mist walk. Uh, I still have my mist walking, but that's not going to do anything. Does he have a heal? No, no heal. Okay. Then I guess this is uh, all or nothing. Oh, well, there we go. Heaven's eclipse. And I need a mana. F nope. Okay. Mana four times. No. Well, I guess I'm eating damage this time. <laughs> that is lethal, though. Could I have done anything differently? Um. If I replace the Ancestral Divination instead of... If I replace the Ancestral Divination instead of... Playing it alongside the Aether Master, I wouldn't have lost one mana. But that is a risky play, honestly. I'm going. Wait, is this a draw instead? I think we'll have to see. Okay, it's a win. Because again, I was considering if I. If I. No, I could have attacked this, placed my Warlock, so I wouldn't have lost uh, Menachel. Okay, either way, thank you. 